In the last couple optimization videos, a bunch of you guys were telling me about Process Lasso and a bunch of my friends have been telling me about it too. So we're gonna cover that and a bunch of other optimizations that you can do to your PC to get more FPS in Fortnite. And I'm just gonna do a different benchmarking format to actually get better and more accurate results. All right, so what you're gonna do is type in bitsum.com and then it brings you to this page right here. You press download. I already have the setup installed as you can see. You're gonna double click it, press yes, press okay, press I agree, press next, press install. And then boom, I installed it for the third time. And before we continue, I just need to say that you shouldn't be installing random software that YouTubers are telling you to. So make sure you actually understand what the software does before you install it on your PC. And what you're gonna do is make sure you have Fortnite open. So open Fortnite up in the background. And because it's in the background, it's gonna be all the way down here. So where you see Fortnite client win, right click, CPU priority, always. And then set that on high. And then you're gonna right click it again and go into power profile and just put it on balanced. And then right click, yeah, go to more and then go to hard throttle, always, and then keep it on no throttle. And then only when you're in game, you're gonna leave the power profile to ultimate performance or high performance or whatever the highest thing uh, you have there because basically what ultimate performance is gonna do is it's gonna lock your CPU speed. So we're just gonna hop into the gameplay perspective. This allows us to see the actual in-game FPS without any of the variable factors. So it's the exact same thing replaying in all of these benchmarks. It's gonna run exactly like the regular game, except we don't have to care about how many people are in the lobby because it's gonna be the same every time we test it. So this is how it is without any of my optimizations. And then we're just gonna keep comparing the FPS as we do these optimizations throughout the video to actually show you guys how much FPS we're gonna gain doing all of these optimizations. Because the problem with a lot of the optimization videos that I see on YouTube right now, because like I use them to do like research but like they don't really compare any of the fps so we're actually just going to be able to see the actual difference in game now all right so while we're in the lobby here let's go into the gameplay perspective i mean automatically we're seeing really decent fps i mean it's above 144 pretty much all the time we'll see if it dips in the same area that we were yeah look once we get to here oh I think it was definitely dipping below this amount earlier when we didn't have process lasso yeah it dropped to 139 but yeah, let's move on to the fight here. All right, mid fight. Uh, definitely the highest peak FPS that we've seen in a minute. 225, 235, 236. Drops lowest to 183. So we're looking at definitely higher average FPS here. Process Lasso, 200% uh, gave us more FPS there. And if you're goaded, smash the subscribe button because I, because. Yeah, you know what? Don't subscribe. So for this optimization, we're gonna go into our power plans and then you're just gonna wanna pick ultimate performance. But if you don't see it, press your Windows key, type CMD and paste the code that I put in the description. This will unlock ultimate performance for you. And I know that I mentioned this in the previous video, but this time I'm actually gonna show you the difference in performance once we actually apply it as well. But basically what balance allows your CPU to do is it allows it to drop its CPU speed when it doesn't need to be high. So as you can see, it's just fluctuating because it doesn't need to be at the highest speed while it's running all of these background processes. But once we put it on ultimate performance, you can see it immediately start jumping up and it's gonna be consistently higher than it was earlier. But then again, we're just gonna drop it back to balance and you can see that it immediately starts dropping back down to around three gigahertz or less. So yeah, I should have mentioned that you should probably switch back to balance when you're done playing the game. And for whoever in the previous video that said high or ultimate performance is gonna damage your PC, as long as your PC has one fan in it, you'll be completely fine. There is no risk to having a higher boost clock speed. Speed. you just need the right cooling and unless you're tough and you're watching this video with your feet you can see the clear boost in performance here. the boost in performance is so huge that i don't even have to go frame by frame and i'm just going to run it again to prove that it's not a margin of error and yeah if we didn't have these videos side by side they look exactly the same we're getting pretty much exactly the same fps so yeah i tried to do some research on the nvidia control panel but it's actually like really hard for me to tell like who has the best settings but the only setting in here that like properly affected my fps was down here in low latency mode i used to have it on ultra but the thing is it gives you less latency but the trade-off is less FPS. With low latency mode on ultra, there are zero queued frames, and when you have the setting off, then there are already queued frames ready to play right after the frame that you're seeing, so you're gonna get more FPS like that. But yeah, if you have inconsistent FPS, leave it on, and if you want more FPS, leave it off. And just to prove that the NVIDIA control panel settings that we changed earlier actually affect our performance, I'm gonna just show you what it looks like if we set it to what NVIDIA recommends for our system, but I'm sure my tweak settings will be better. And in the lobby, there is a clear difference. We're actually hitting 140 40 FPS and above, even hitting up to 160, whereas NVIDIA's recommended settings are actually struggling a little bit to keep up. 
And as you can see, there is a clear winner. My settings absolutely destroy the performance settings. So yeah, definitely recommend tweaking your NVIDIA control panel settings to what your PC likes. And then while we're on the topic of NVIDIA control panel settings, we're just going to take a look at the difference between ultra low latency and no latency reduction. I mean, the numbers kind of speak for themselves. They're very, very similar, but we're getting slightly better results with it off. So I just left it off after this video is done. All right, so for everyone with an actual potato PC, you're just gonna go to this link. I'm gonna leave it in the description and you're just gonna press NVIDIA Profile Expector.zip. You can just extract it. I'm gonna put it on my D drive and then just extract. All right, and then we're just gonna hop into here and type Fortnite. <laughs> Why does it not show up when I type the E, bruh? All right, so then we're just gonna go to tab three and it's gonna be transparency super sampling. Press this drop down menu and then we're gonna go to this one where it ends with replay mode all. And then we scroll down to texture filtering. So LOD bias DX, we're gonna type in zero X one, two, three, four, five, six zeros, four, five. And then just copy and paste that same number down here. And then go to the drop down menu over here, press clamp. And then the one underneath right here, Instead of high performance, we're going to put it on quality and then press apply changes. And then if you ever feel like you want to go back, you can just go back up to here and it'll restore the current profile to NVIDIA default. So you won't be stuck with these potato graphics and you know what settings you have to go back to in case you want your game to look normal again. And as you can see, we're loaded into the game. It looks extremely cursed. But if we go back into the replays, like nothing is even rendering in properly. But in the same area, oh yeah, this is definitely more FPS than we were getting earlier. All right, then we're gonna hop into the first fight again. I mean, we're getting a little bit more FPS, but it's definitely not worth the trade off if you're already getting pretty consistent FPS. <laughs> Cause we're at a point where our PC is like pretty much fully optimized. So we're just gonna see like single digit FPS increases at this point. But you can actually get potato graphics that are not as bad. But the thing is, you'll still get a really nice boost in FPS. As you can see, while we're gliding, we went up to 170, which we haven't seen all day. But this is with all of the optimization later in this video combined as well and the lowest FPS we dropped to was 198 the highest we've had in this video so far was 183 so there is a huge difference with potato graphics all right so the next thing we're gonna do is hop into core isolation because earlier I had memory integrity on but apparently having it off gives you more consistent FPS so we're just gonna test that as well and then for this I'm just going to leave it on because I don't think this really does too much to our FPS I could be completely wrong just let me know down in the comments for sure all right so it's looking pretty much exactly the same as all of the other benchmarks that we did a few days ago but yeah we're going up into the sky and oh we didn't even get to touch 150 oh we touched 160 for a second there and then 160 when we landed back on the ground. I feel like this is one of the first times where we're actually running into an issue running the benchmark because both sides, right now, they're looking very similar. Like there's pretty much absolutely no difference. The right side seems to just get a little bit more FPS in the fight there. But once we look into this wall, with memory integrity on, the FPS is higher. If we look at the left side, it starts randomly ramping up above the FPS we're getting with memory integrity on. So I have no idea what's going on. Next week, we're going to go over random software like filter keys or gear up booster and see if they are just scams that YouTubers try to put you onto. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, definitely use my creator code because only one person is using it right now. And that is literally me. So just use my creator code. It doesn't cost you anything. You guys are literally the best. See ya.